Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share with you this journal that I finally finished and I started this journal a long time ago. So this journal is seven and three quarters by five and a quarter by over two inches here, but then uh, one and a half, a little bit more on the spine. So this journal is made with chipboard um, fab, um, paper that's matte patched. So there's two different papers as you can see, cardstock paper, and also lace on the edges here for reinforcement, for uh, signatures, metal corners, and then here's some pretty image stitched around, gold fabric underneath. This is lace and so, so this matches and looks nice together and kind of balances the whole thing and there's a little pearl in here be authentic so i also have pearl in the charm here so tassel attachment one of these tim holds i think and then uh, this one is attached to it and fixed. This one also very pretty. And this one is just like the flowers here, this bead here, so pretty. And removable tassel. This is, as you can see, on the clasp, so you can remove it. And the colors are matching the cover print called seam binding, yarn, eyelash trim, different colors. So that's this uh that's how it looks on the spine and crinkled seam binding two colors fixed as you can see here you can remove it you can replace it with something else but the eyelets are fixed so here is the and i'm trying to do my best in this light i don't remember this journal because i started this journal two or three years ago so i'll be discovering it with you. So here's paper to cover the uh, edges here. Here's another paper inside. Make each day a story worth telling. This is stamped and doily underneath it and this is uh, washi. So you can add your picture or something here. Here's paper tag with crinkled seam binding. And uh, I made a little flower here, added some flower. This is cute little tuck spot, so you can journal on top of this here. And this is just a uh, vintage playing card, but it's so pretty. So you could even glue it somewhere in the journal. Bird here, punched paper with some washi. Here's also a sticker. This is a tax spot. This says life is too short to wear boring clothes. This is why I made this girl here. As you can see, she's wearing rain boots and uh, looks like maybe swimsuit, sunglasses. I made little hair for her and all sorts of things, washi paper, stickers and sell price. So maybe you can get some clothes on sale. So cute little things here and there. Paper to journal. This is uh, coffee dyed paper. So here is a little <coughs> flip with that tag. You can journal underneath here. Remember to pay the bill. Fun things. And here, let's see to-do list, extra paper, so that is a pocket and I love, and you can journal about it, explore, dream, discover, all, all sorts of things in this journal, as you can see this is even a, an animal dot. I think this is the bridge card or something. So it's just something colorful and pretty. And I had it in there. Oh, 
was pretty page too, so some extra lined paper to journal. And here is another tuck spot sticker. I mean, all sorts of things, as you can see, to discover. Here is a glassine bag with feathers, all, all colors. Daisy. Daisy. Here's Daisy. <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. Little cat here and raffle tickets and pretty paper. So that's a tuck spot behind this, as you can see. It's pretty kitty. Pretty page too. And here is some lace, um, die cuts, gemstone, and here's a space to journal. So for somebody who likes journals that are already embellished a lot, that will be it. Because as you can see, the embellishments are everywhere. Here are flowers again, some sorry silk and flower here, sticker, space to journal. Also, then here is cute little tag with butterflies. Days like this are the best. And here I have some journaling booklet. Whatever you are, be a good one. So a lot of quotes. And this is washi. Each and every day. Note to self. A lot of stuff in this journal. Perfect day. Some gemstones because it's uh, the flowers on this paper here. So this is washi sticker. It says laugh until it hurts. Of course you can journal on here. And uh, <clears throat> here's a cat. I made a cute tail for the cat with pom pom and some die cuts here and washi. This is also a die cut. So this flips. And here's another sticker. Here's a sticker that says details. So a lot of things to look at when you just go through the journal. Choose joy. It's another tag. Here's another tag, and this says Precious Memories Stamped. And then I guess this is a journaling card, index card. Very colorful paper. Friends, this here is kind of like space for a photo, and then you can um, write it down. That's a die cut, very pretty. What is this? This is a tuck spot with low lace. So it's some, um, I cut this out and it, I gave it some background here. And that's a bird, so you can journal on this as well. Really pretty papers I used. This is white page, but it the pa some of the pages are inked around, as I can see. And here are a couple of die cuts again. A simple thing, but it can really embellish the page. A lazy weekend and um, washi underneath it. And this is paper. Look how pretty those bird houses are. And there's a stamp here. This is washi again to give some yellow on this page. And then I made this tag. That's a really pretty tag. So what did I do here? I inked the edges with pink ink. This is lace and some type of, uh, what is it called? Twine. And then I stamped a few butterflies. I stamped this. And I die cut, um, as you can see, different paper hearts the little ticket here and uh, buttons on top this is this is a really pretty tag some extra pieces of paper because you can you know you can glue them on the page add some extras to it and that's a flip with some
pages to journal on and it's a book page that's a sticker this is washi so this is die cut and again stamped butterflies it's a sending some love i think i inked every page on here because i see all the edges are inked so that is the book page and that's the um these are birds so i just that's the same uh, book page and then this is coffee dyed paper and I found some similar birds and this is a vintage playing card so it kind of matches here so as you can see uh, all sorts of things but they kind of go together the pages so it's very very um, different different themes everywhere you look and then this is black and white tag to match this black and white paper um, you can also color this and then if you color this you can also draw something on this tag and make it colorful so that is middle of the second signature this is bonjour coffee time some stickers and washi and this is the coffee dyed paper That's another flip. So here's like flamingo theme. This is washi. Then here is added on a pin uh, mesh flower. And then this bow that I made. And the colors are, as you can see, to match this pink and uh, green. So you can remove this, you can put it somewhere else. And then here again, you have these beautiful flowers so this one is very tropical page and stamped index card this is a die cut pretty double-sided <clears throat> and this is washi and this is a sticker and uh, paper clip with with ribbon now here there's some butterflies here on this paper This is journaling card, and then this is a little booklet with the die cut, um, not die cut, coffee dye paper, and it's stamped. And then here again is on a pen, a couple uh, pom poms, some trim, die cut flower, and and the tag. Can glue this together would look pretty together too great idea and this is lined paper it's a uh, cardstock paper um, scrapbooking paper and on this side there is butterfly stamped inked around it's just a little tag now what do we have here that's another flip with some paper this is paper I think I just uh, cut this out and I glued it on top of this and then this is a die cut and it says date night it's a sticker and here I made this inventory tag I inked it around then I added this tiny little um, tag on top of it it's butterfly it's inked around and I added some lace on top of it and you can remove it because it's on a pin again so as you can see I had some I had a lot of the, the longer you work on a journal the different ideas you get this is why it's um, everything in this journal and that's the middle what do we have here so this is a booklet with a journaling card. It says today and it's paper and sticker and another sticker. And oh, this is cute. I forgot about these tags. 
it says happy birthday but you can cover it with something else if you don't want happy birthday stamped butterflies it's inked it's manila tag it's inked and then i have this fabric i cut this it's pot for flowers and this is flower uh so it's like flower in a pot and then this is i made this cute bow and i glued it on top of it that's cute forgot about these okay so this is again coffee dyed lined paper beautiful actually beautiful marbles on this one this is a journaling card i'm just saying good news and this is a piece of vintage book page and here let's see mm, does that open see i don't even remember how I did that. <laughs> so this is a paper bag. I clearly glued these two. I made a tuck spot here. Is that a tuck spot? I, that's a tuck spot right there. It says just the facts. So I must have glued these two sides and then this is a tuck spot so you could fit something in there. I don't know if I have a piece of paper that would fit. just to show you that I mean I think it is maybe it isn't maybe this is too wide it is a tax spot so right here is a tuck spot then here is a tuck spot for this tag then it's a tuck spot inside right in here that's really cool i forgot all about these ideas and then this was just uh, clipped on this side so there's a lot of red and yellow here. So I'm going to keep this here so you know that this is the tuck spot behind it. How cool is this? <laughs> uh, punched corners here. And then this is middle with this beautiful bird and it is a flip so a lot of space to journal here so you see this journal is bulky but it's because it has a lot of extra things in it and this is also you can journal inside of it or you can cut it and you can glue it down So let me put this back. Oh, I have this brown and kind of green to match this side. This is another tuck spot. A lot of tuck spots, a lot of this. I was actually working with this one for the uh, last two journals that I made with the butterflies and these are stickers and this is just a piece of paper it's another flip that's washy here and here's the other side of the paper bag uh, let's see oh cute butterflies kind of match the pages too So you know you can you can always glue this down somewhere on a page 
or even glue it here that would look pretty too and this is fabric but it's uh, bird so you can use it for some projects and here's another paper clip with ribbon I don't know which way it looks better maybe this way that is some piece of sleeve from a book and this is journaling card banana here I think it's because it's yellow I would needed something yellow for this page it is pretty cool summer page and then journaling card here coffee dyed paper here now this is piece of paper on washi on both sides and I uh, punched two holes and I added this lace here. I tied the lace here. This It has punched corners. This is lace. These are the pom-poms that I had somewhere here. So you can journal on both sides of it. And you can journal underneath it. So that's cool. best day some nice ephemera and the colors match this side because there's a lot of orange and brownish kind of pink <laughs> here's another pretty <clears throat> tag with paper, uh, fabric on top and it's matching the dark blue here it's dark blue and the polka dot is kind of off-white just like the coffee dye paper here even do it like this so here again is coffee dyed lined paper that's a flip again with some uh, lined paper inside and postcard with birds This is this could be a tax spot too. It's vintage book page. This is coffee dyed paper with some with a journaling card inside. This is page from a calendar. Pretty bird. There's a lot of birds in this journal. And this is a flip, so it's really pretty image. And of course, you can draw on the other side as well. Coffee dye paper with vintage index card. And that is also a flip, and this is beautiful paper. So you can make a tag or something with it. And it's tucked in here. So then you can draw on here. You could put it here if you wanted to. And then here is glassine bag with die cut hearts and flowers and stuff and even a monkey. Look at that. Even have a monkey here. <laughs> so this is book page. This is kind of like a little tuck spot here too. And this is washi. Another die cut so you could glue it somewhere. You could even add all of this here and leave the monkey here and there'll be really cool embellishment for your journal. Something and you can color it. So use the things that are in a journal to make something. This is a book page. I just cut it to look like a tag and then I inked the sides of it. So there's a lot to show in this journal. So here's this lined paper that's coffee dyed. That is also coffee dyed. 
So this would definitely go with the flamingo page, the uh, exotic page that I was showing you. And that's the end. Then here you have more uh, lined paper that you can always glue in a journal or something. So this is journaling card. Memories. Maybe when you go on vacation because it has stamped palm trees. And that's it. So this journal takes you on a journey of um, many different uh, things and events in life. So I hope you enjoyed it. Here are the charms one more time. Uh, a little different because as I said, I started working on this journal a long, long time ago. So that's the journals I used to make back then. A lot of time and work, but um, they, they're a little different, more embellished. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.